This brings up the the right wing resistance to transgenderism, uh-huh. to the movement of transgenderism, to a lot of the activism that comes out of it. I think a lot of it is about the pronouns. And I struggle with this myself. I don't know which to use because my reason tells me, just as you said, you know, you, you're born a man, you'll die a man, but you now more resemble, you certainly resemble a woman, you don't look like a man. So my reason tells me it would be uh, objecting to reality to say she. And yet, you're my guest, you're my friend, you're, you're uh, my politeness would uh, object to calling you he you, and mm-hmm. you, you and and obviously in terms of secondary sex traits you, you certainly look much more like a woman H- how do we resolve this this issue between manners and politeness and civil society and the biological facts of uh, sex well you certainly don't legislate it i think that's a huge problem um, I was just reading the other day that in 2018 there's about to be like harsher penalties for misgendering someone in the health field than for spreading HIV, which is insane. That's so, right. I, I saw that. It, yeah. they're, they're making it will no longer be a felony mm-hmm. to intentionally, excuse me, to intentionally spread HIV. California is a mess. Uh, California <laughs> yeah, is a mess. A, but just a generally true. Yeah, statement. just a mess. Uh, but again, you don't legislate it because that turns people off, and it it, it also creates trans people makes trans people a liability mm. when they become employees. You know, no company wants to hire someone who is potentially a lawsuit. You know what I mean? So th- that's a problem. And that's another thing. It's like a double-sided sword because the trans activists claim to fight for trans unemployment and then they do things like that. Right. Um, but again, with, with pronouns, it's like it just do what makes sense. You know what I mean? Like, for instance, if you and I were to go to dinner or something, and I got there before you, so I was at the table, and you told people at the front, like, I'm meeting my friend, you wouldn't say, He's in the black top over there. Like, yeah, that's the, right. You know what I mean? It just makes because they wouldn't He's know who you're talking about. He's in the silky dress over there. Yeah, they would yeah. lead you to someone else. Right. Uh, so it's just about what makes sense. Um, unfortunately, there are a lot of people who seem hell bent on um, having things not make sense. You mm. know what I mean? People who uh, want to be referred to with you know third pronouns, fourth pronouns, Z, the, the or Z, they, the, the they, yeah, the singular it, they is the worst one. That that is unforgivable. It is such an offense to grammar. I can't it imagine is. it. It is, it, and, it, and it's frustrating. Um, for me, when I'm in those situations, I just don't hang out with people like that. Yeah. Um, if I'm around them, I'm not going to be intentionally rude or anything, but I would prefer not to hang out with someone who has like that high of expectations for a normal conversation with them. Right. It's kind of annoying. Uh, but I, other than that, just do what makes sense. You know is there I mean? a worry that the pronouns kind of give up the the premises? So in the pronouns, in any polite society, you would just say she and her to refer to you. You, you identify as a woman, you look like a woman, just go with it. But is there something to worry about that in that premise, by granting the premise that one can change biological sex from male to female, from him to her, that we're giving the left a, a, a premise from which uh, many of their arguments will flow, even if it's not a correct premise? Does that make sense? I didn't, I didn't say that articulately. Sense. No, it makes absolute sense. Um, I guess in a sense, but at the same time, it's still about what makes sense. I mean, I don't even think it's giving the left that. I think they already have that. They're going to take it anyway, right? Yeah, I think people argue mm -hmm. against it when the reality is, like, I don't think since I was a teenager I've ever been called he. Like, even, like, pre-transition when I was starting to grow my hair out, didn't no hormones, no surgery, I still never got called he. You know what I mean? So it's it's just about common sense. Um, Obviously, when it comes to some people, there's this one trans activist, I believe her name is... uh, Danielle Moscato, I think it's Danielle Moscato, and um, she's made like no, I'm saying she because I'm polite, uh, but she's made no attempt to do anything, like literally male clothes, bald head, no makeup, no anything. No Just legal, in every way. No looks legal like gender, it. in every way, like looks manlier than you. Like. Well, I, I'm, I'll take it, you know, <laughs> unfortunately there are a lot of guys who look manlier than me, You'll but take it. that's all uh, right. And so when it comes to people like that, it's very frustrating um, because they'll make a huge deal about it. but. Most trans people, we have to remember, like, mm. the internet is, like, not real life all the time. So a lot of these <laughs> it's, activists, it's hard to it's keep like, that in mind. Yeah. yeah, a lot of these activists, it's like, yeah, there's crazy nuts on the internet. But most trans people, are just, it just doesn't, doesn't, doesn't matter. Of course. And, and also, there aren't that many transgender people, Mm-mm. you know. The, the statistic for a long time was, I think it was 0.2% of the population. Or, or even less. Now that some surveys say that number is point. Six percent of the population, I think. Obviously, there are differing numbers because it's such a, a small population. Uh huh. 
And yet, it's all anyone's talking about. And I do think that the left has made us so reactionary on this. You know, so I, reactionary. They, they do this on everything. They, they've... But they've incredibly made cross-dressers not fun. I don't know how they did that. Cross-dressers have always been fun throughout all of history. It makes Rocky you know? Horror, like, not fun Yeah, anymore. it makes it this, like, somber thing. Makes the, the village in New York, like, this very serious social, you know, come uh-huh. on, man. They've done it on college campuses. They've made sex boring. I don't know how they did that. Yeah, I've, I've, I've always <laughs> said, like, yeah, I've always said, you know, transgenderism, is and should exist outside of the role of politics because mm. it's, it's not political. It's biological. It's neurological. Um, it's a condition. Psychological. Yeah, yeah, and when you start politicizing things like that, I mean, it would suck just as much if they started politicizing, I don't know, uh, autistic people or something. Right, like, right. You know, making a group of people who are going through enough, like the political football is really frustrating.